Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today a little bit different video, sorry for the lighting. Uh, it is what it is, you know, I've been actually quite busy today with other things, but I will keep you posted about it in other video. Um, today I want to read um, two things for you. One is the article that has been posted yesterday, so this is very fresh. And this is about Poland is deploying fortifications on the border. The head of the Ministry of National Defense issued a statement. So Mariusz Błaszczak, who is the Minister of National Defense, have made a statement. And let me read part of this uh, for you. You can read it yourself in full length. And also, I believe he made some posts on his Twitter that you can find, but here is the article and his words. We have started preventive development of security measures on the border with Russia and Belarus. Uh, is an element of our defense and deterrence strategy, wrote on Twitter on Thursday, yesterday, Deputy Prime Minister and Head of the Ministry of National Defense, Mariusz Błaszczak. <clears throat> Excuse me. As he said, the first fortifications are being deployed on the border with Kaliningrad region. The head of the Ministry of National Defense informed about the expansion of security measures on the border with Russia and Belarus on Twitter. We have started preventive expansion of security measures on the borders with Rus Russia and Belarus. This is part of our defense and detergent strategy, the first fortifications are already being deployed on the border with Kaliningrad region. That's what he said. It's a repetition of the same, but um, this is not fun, everyone. Okay. It's getting more and more intense on the border. And uh, I don't like this situation at all, to be honest with you. Especially, it looks like it's more intense after Biden's visit. And also on his Twitter, um, the one of the latest posts uh, was, I don't have Twitter, by the way, and I'm not going to have Twitter account. One of the latest posts was about 3,000 volunteer soldiers in Poland, volunteers that uh, participate in the military training in Poland. You remember many months ago, I think it was like around July or uh, August, last year, I was reporting on that project, uh, Train with the Army, those weekends with the army that they were advertising in Poland. <clears throat> and like I said, it was presented as fun time, you know, learning things, etc. But when you make it on that list, in my opinion, as a Train with the Army um, entertainment for the weekend, that list is very important because those names might be called as one of the first names if the bleep hits the fan. Okay, I said it before and I repeat the same again. Sorry for my voice, guys. <clears throat> it's dry air, so this is what it is. Now, last night, when I was actually downloading my video that has nothing to do with politics, you're welcome to check it out. Um, I saw the message from Duda. He gave unexpectedly a message, surprising message to Polish citizens and whoever else, right, in Poland. And I would like to attach the link to that message under the video because somehow they actually translated it in English, into English, which is fantastic. However, I would like to read to you part of his words, if that's okay. Uh, maybe not entire speech. It's about seven minutes long. And the rest you can just, you can mute if you want, but you can read the words and you can see what he said. Uh, yeah, again, the message right after Biden left. So let's start. Exactly one year ago on 23rd February, just hours before the Russian um, aggression, 
I was in Kiev to support Ukraine. I spoke to President Volodymyr Zelensky. As I said goodbye, I saw great determination and courage in his eyes. He said to me at the time, we might never see each other again. No one here. We will fight until the very end. I replied, Volodomir. We will see each other many more times. You can always count on Poland. God bless you. That is why when the world expected Kiev to fall within three days and the whole of Ukraine within a week, we in Poland knew that this would not happen. Because what unites us, Poles and Ukrainians, is a great love of freedom. So huge that you can give your life for it. Ladies and gentlemen, we Poles, like few other nations in the world, understand the tragedy of Ukraine. We know what war, death and suffering mean, just like demolished cities and crimes of genocide. Hmm. Sorry, my comment here. Yeah, genocide, yeah. During World War II, six million of our citizens perished and Warsaw, the capital of Poland, was razed to the ground. Our history, however, proves that even crimes and per persecutions will not break the true spirit of freedom. The denial of freedom is enslavement, imperialism, sick dreams of domination over others. By unleashing the war in Ukraine, Vladimir Putin wanted to restore the Russian Empire. He wanted to divide the world and make Europe permanently dependent on his resources. And the vast majority of Russians supported him in that. Today, after a year of war, we know that they did not succeed. Russia has not conquered Ukraine. The Western world is united. NATO's role has increased with more countries jo joining the alliance. Europe is finally ending its dependence on Russian oil and gas. Putin is failing. He has not achieved any of his strategic goals. He was stabbed by the heroism of Ukrainian soldiers and Ukrainian society. He was stabbed by the attitude of Poland and other countries who have been supporting Ukraine from day one. But all this would not have been possible without the strong leadership of the United States. Poland has been at the forefront of aid to Ukraine, both the military and humanitarian one. This is exactly why we are the target of an organized, cynical Russian propaganda and disinformation all over the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Russia has not yet lost and Ukraine has not yet won. We know very well that the road to this victory is still a long one and will involve great efforts and sacrifice. But there is no other way. Any attempts to get along with Russia behind Ukraine's back are short-sighted and will lead to an even greater tragedy in the future. There is no going back to the situation from before 24th February. There is no return to business as usual with Russia. In order to achieve a lasting peace, Ukraine must win. And for it, have a chance to do, of doing so, we unity, sorry, and for it to have a chance of doing so, we need unity, unity and more unity of the whole free world. 
<clears throat> the historic visit by US President Joe Biden to Warsaw and Kiev to Poland and Ukraine reaffirmed that Polish-American strategic alliance and continued support for Ukraine, which is fighting for its freedom. The United States is the guarantee of security on the old continent. Many in Europe have forgotten this, we remember. Therefore, the priority of the Polish presidency of the European Union in the first half of 2025 will be to deepen cooperation between the Union and the United States, to strengthen transatlantic Atlantic bonds. Ladies and gentlemen, Poland is the country of solidarity, a great movement which brought together millions of people. One second. Let me look back again. A great movement which brought together millions of people and changed the world's recent history by contributing to the fall of communism. We are proud of this. After the outbreak of the war, the Polish people showed that solidarity is not just a great history, but the sol solidarity lives on in us. We opened our hearts and our homes to our neighbors. There were and there are no refugee camps in Poland. We welcomed and continue to welcome our guests in our homes. This is the second wave of solidarity for us, solidarity with Ukraine. Ukraine still needs a great deal of support from the whole free world. For it is fighting for this freedom now. We know that the consequences of this war are affecting many people around the world. But let us remember that this is the Ukrainian people who are paying the highest price for this freedom. The price of their lives. And that is why from Warsaw, a city so afflicted by war from Poland, from the country of solidarity. There is an appeal going out to the whole world. Stand in solidarity with Ukraine. We repeat the words which Poles had on their lips when they were fighting for their freedom. There is no freedom without solidarity. So actually, I read to you the entire speech. That's what he said yesterday um, with his strong voice and determination. Meanwhile, something is cooking on the border with Belarus in Kaliningrad region. This is the update from today, everyone. And I would like to end this video here with uh, some personal um, announcement, which is very exciting for me. I'm starting the project of illustrating my third book for children. Um, that one will be with Vincent van Gogh, van Gogh, and it will be a wonderful book. I would like to contribute to some causes and some places, maybe also translated into Russian as well. But this process of illustration might be finished by the end of May. And I would like to emphasize that any donation now that will be um, donated to me, given to me via PayPal or my Patreon or um, locals, super tanks, super chats, will go directly to that project because I will be paying my wonderful illustrator, Jana Popova, for her work and I know that many children will be very happy with this great story because Vincent van Gogh will answer five-year-old girl whose name is Matilda her question what is the most important thing in life and I think that will be a great message for every child who will read this book so I will leave you with this today 
make sure to join me on Locals. Follow me on Instagram, I really appreciate. You can see some pictures from here and other places that I travel to. Check out the books that I have already published. The link is down below. And like I said, if you would like to watch this speech, the link is down below the video and the first article that I have mentioned as well. And I will see you in another video, probably more um, sightseeing video tomorrow. Lots of love, everyone. Thank you for watching. And please remember to hit that like. It really helps the channel. Thank you.